What's up guys, my name is Solomon and today we are going to discuss and I will show you the methods how you can pass all the new goblin maps that were added in the game uh, in the last update. In the previous video I have shown you the first five new goblin maps and the last one as a bonus. If you didn't see this video, please uh, check it. I will leave uh, the link in the description and today I will show you all the uh, rest uh, maps on the single campaign uh, map uh, till the last one but as I said the last one was already shown uh, in the previous video before we jump to the uh, maps and to the attacks uh, please guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends uh, first of all because your support is very needed as the channel is uh, pretty small and the second reason is that there will be uh, four challenges in uh, the clash mess event and for all of them i will also uh, be making videos uh, with the best tutorials how you can pass it thanks a lot for your support guys and now we are jumping to the attacks okay so we are starting with the map called titanic and uh, here i'm uh, using the super bowlers by the way uh, for the for all the maps i was using the town hall that is uh, mean to be used uh, in these challenges i mean if you open uh, with town hall 10, 11 or 12 these challenges that will be written on the screen that um, be careful this challenge is for town hall 14 or for town hall 15 and so on so for town hall 14's uh, maps i'm uh, doing town hall 14 attacks and for town hall 15 uh, actually the town hall 15 attacks so here i was using the super bowlers and the reason is that on this map there are uh, lots of scaly traps and that's why we need uh, some uh, some troops sorry for this uh, exit button uh, some troops uh, that can uh, do splash damage and kill uh, these skellies uh, faster uh, at first i was trying to use valkyries but then i decided that uh, valkyries is too fast and uh, the healers cannot uh, heal them uh, very good that's why i decided to use uh, super bowlers actually you can also try uh, e titans for example because uh, they also can um, kill all the skellies even quicker than uh, the super bowlers another option is to use witches with healers um, actually they also do great job with uh, lots of skellies but there are uh, inferno uh, multi inferno towers and that's why uh, the skellies will be dying very quickly uh, all the rest is just uh, funneling your troops on one side of this map and trying to push uh, all the troops at once and with that uh, you will be uh, successful so you can choose either bowlers or e, uh, e titans or maybe valkyries or witches but i think bowlers are uh, the best if you have them opened uh, the next map and here i also use the super bowlers but as i said in the previous uh, map actually you can uh, try e titans or even packers with super wizards uh, but uh, ground troops because in my opinion uh, ground troops are better as you can use healers with them and here you see there are four um, eagle artilleries that's that's a lot and uh, they can deal lots of damage at the same time that's why you want to use uh, troops that have a big amount of health this way they won't be killed with one shot and uh, healers can work on them and uh, repair their health if you can uh, say so uh, i'm also using flame flinger on the right corner because uh, there are no long distance uh, defenses and with the flame flinger you can uh, clear all this uh, compartment and um, you also have to pay attention uh, for the skelly traps because in my first attack on this map skelly um, like skellies from the skelly trap came out and destroyed my flame flinger and actually uh, this flame flinger could work a lot longer than it was in my uh, first attack. So here you see uh, there are skellies. I'm using the uh, Valkyrie over there and she protects my flame flinger from being killed. And uh, my main attack, my main push is just coming through the core of the base uh, using um, the rage spells one after another because uh, we need to keep our troops alive. There are lots of uh, damage and that's why you just need uh, using your rage spell one after another and with that you will be uh, successful because super bowlers can tank lots of damage with uh, raged healers and also your heroes will stay alive and uh, you see this is the ending of the attack so this map is also pretty easy uh, as i said you can try to use uh, e titans instead of super bowlers or maybe packers but with some splash uh, units here is another uh, base corner case called and uh, this uh, base um, I tripled from first attempt because uh, 
this uh, this base is pretty tight and if you just send uh, battle blimp with super arches you will be able to destroy all the buildings in the core and with that uh, you just continue your attack with uh, dragons and uh, heroes and uh, you will be successful this is uh, also pretty easy map uh, with the super blimp super archer blimp uh, just destroying all the core defenses and creating a great funnel for your uh, dragons because this is also an important thing uh, for the dragon attack uh, so they don't spread out across the map starting from the corner of the base because the final is already created and i'm just uh, continuing uh, the attack with my heroes to uh, funnel my dragons inside the base so they uh, won't uh, fly uh, all the way to the corner of the base i need them to stay in the core and to destroy the main defenses the uh, single inferno towers the the scatter shots and so on uh, using with my heroes also the royal champion because in my opinion uh, royal champion needs to go with uh, the king as uh, the king tanks for the royal champion and this is very important so the the champion don't goes down very quickly and that's it guys so the main uh, thing in this uh, map is just uh, start with the battle blimp then uh, like watch for your super arches so they don't get killed in the beginning for that you just need to place your invisibility spell at the right time before the battle blip lands on the uh, on the map and uh, then just uh, continue adding invisibility spells until uh, super archers destroy all the core buildings and uh, then it's an easy triple so another easy map for town hall 14 actually because this is town hall 14 uh, challenge for town hill 15 it will be a bit uh, more difficult Sorry, for Town Hall 13, of course. Uh, this is another map, and uh, here the idea is also very easy and uh, very simple. You just need to send all your troops uh, in one direction, and here I didn't use any super troops. I just uh, using uh, yetis with the packers and witches just to show that it's not needed. Uh, it's it's not very important uh, to use uh, some super troops. You can uh, do great uh, triples with uh, simple units like Yetis and Witches. And uh, the main idea here is just to funnel everybody in one direction. Actually, in my case, it didn't uh, work out because my queen uh, wanted to uh, walk another way, but it. Uh, actually doesn't make any big difference because um, lots of troops went in one direction with uh, my king and grand warden and also uh, the healers uh, i'm also using a heal spell for the healers just to make sure that do they don't go down from the air bombs and so on and uh, just uh, destroying the base so this is another pretty easy base uh, you can try to use uh, whatever you want maybe even using air army but as i said in my opinion uh, when you don't have limit of time, uh, then it's better to use some armies with healers, even if they are slow. Uh, healers uh, works great when you need to uh, keep your troops alive. And uh, here you see I didn't use uh, one of the rage spells because I actually didn't need them. I think maybe you can save even more spells in this attack. And this map is pretty difficult. I have tried several times to triple it and uh, I was looking for a troop that can deal with enormous amount of uh, skeletons. The reason is that this base has so many skeleton traps that uh, they are continuous uh, spawning all the attack. And for that you need to find a troop that deals great with lots of uh, skeletons but also uh, lives long. At first I tried to use uh, the e titan but actually the e titans uh, are not good enough uh, especially instead especially uh, vs uh, the single inferno towers because uh, they are very tanky and there are very few of them that's why if you use e titans they just uh, go down very quickly and then i found witches i uh, i remember that witches have a splash attack and uh, they also spawn a lot of uh, skeletons and with that so they have a tank in front of them uh, which is uh, the skeletons that uh, they are born and uh, also skeletons uh, sorry skeletons yeah skeletons distract their defenses and also witches have splash attacks so they kill enemy skeletons very very quick and when i found um, this idea when i found the witches for this base then it came out very easy at first as you saw you need to use a battle blimp and you need to send it just in the middle of the base uh, with the uh, with the lava hound to tank if you send uh, the battle blimp correctly then the super archers will be able to destroy 
uh, all four eagle artilleries. This is very important because four eagle artilleries are uh, very dangerous. They will shoot at the same time and the, in the same target and they will destroy everybody from one shot. That's why if you destroy the eagle artilleries, then the rest of the attack will be very easy. You see how witches are spawning lots of skellies. Besides that, they are killing the enemy uh, skellies and uh, they live uh, very long. With these healers, uh, they just uh, if they get any damage, the healers just uh, repair their health uh, to the 100%. And with that, even the giant bombs, the scatter shots is not a threat. You will be able to destroy everything. You see, just uh, waves of uh, skellies coming in front of our witches. Yes, they are being killed uh, in, uh, in immediately. Sorry and. Uh, just new scale is coming out so with that uh, it's a great way to tank for the single inferno towers they just they cannot do anything here also the tesla farms cannot do anything because skellies are just tanking tanking and continuing to um to come out and uh, to be born by the witches and this is very good uh, idea how you can triple this uh, actually you can try with uh, other armies but uh, of course you will have to wait because for each map on the goblin map you have to uh, cook a new army and uh, there are um, like 30 or 40 minutes uh, to cook another army and as I said if you will be uh, bored with uh, new attempts just take witches and uh, you will be successful it will be very easy for you just uh, use this trick with the battle blimp in the middle of the base and then it will be an easy triple you see I didn't use my queen ability and you see how many witches are alive till the end of the attack uh, because they were not getting any damage at all or they were healed by the healers another attack and it's called uh, it's called monolithic and uh, there is enormous amount of monolith in uh, in this map and uh, actually it's crazy but again witches are just uh, saving us in this uh, uh, in this map because a lot of monolith cannot do anything with the spam attacks because they are single target defenses that's why we are starting with the battle blimp again the main idea is just to create a good funnel uh, to destroy some monolith and also to as i said to create a funnel because funnel for witches is very important you need to keep them all at the same direction this way they will create skellies and uh, the waves of skellies will tank uh, for all your troops. So there I'm starting with the uh, E-Titans. The reason is the the E-Titans are really tanky and in the beginning witches uh, don't have uh, that much skellies and we need somebody to tank for them. I'm also using uh, like regular wall breakers uh, just uh, not to use the super version of them as uh, not everybody using the super wall breakers. You see uh, the shots from the Eagle Artillery and then uh, we are coming to the compartment with the um, with the only splash damage uh, defenses, uh, the bomb towers and the multi inferno tower, they cannot do much if we use our green warden ability. Then I was sending the uh, the royal champion, but uh, there is actually lots of skellies in uh, that place. Uh, but witches help uh, the royal champion to overcome those uh, skellies and to continue helping our army. Uh, and you see now we are uh, coming closer to the wizard towers but actually with that amount of uh, witches and also with healers even wizards cannot do much instead of uh, this wave of witches and skellies because uh, each time witches get damaged they are getting immediately healed by our healers so this is a really good way of uh, pathing this and the previous maps uh, i believe this is one of the best variants but i am sure that uh, you will find another ways how we can triple i'm just trying to show you uh, the easiest way because as i said for each map you have to cook an army and if you don't know what army to use you will spend lots of time uh, to find a right way what army you should be using and that's why uh, my tutorials i think will be helpful for you uh, this map i passed uh, also uh, from the first attempt you see the resources i didn't uh, collect any of them and this proves that uh, this video was uh, recorded just from the first attempt i was uh, taking this base this base uh, called raging headache and actually it's uh, 
it's so many rages on this map but they are not very useful because with the uh, super archer blimp you just destroy everything in the core and uh, this is also a great uh, value for your drags because uh, when the core is destroyed uh, you destroy not only the most important defenses but you again creating a great funnel and after that your dragons will be able just to fly across the map and to uh, destroy everything besides we destroyed almost all rage towers on this uh, base and uh, i believe the rage towers are uh, very powerful actually if you are not protect protecting the town hall by the poison towers then the rage towers are even more dangerous uh, for the attacking uh, troops because they uh, buff all the defenses and the heroes and the clan castle also so you see now i'm sending my dragons with the dragon riders also adding my heroes on the side of the map uh, adding the royal champion with the dragons when you are using the uh, dragon riders you can actually add the royal champion with them because uh, mostly all the defenses are both ground and air and uh, that's why your Royal Champion will be protected by your Dragon Riders. And then you're just watching how the base is triple because uh, nothing can stop this amount of Dragons with Loons, also with your Heroes with their abilities. Uh, actually, I having here the uh, 10th levels of uh, pets, but I believe uh, with my tutorials the pets are not very important because um, we always have uh, lots of troops left in the end of the attack so even with low level pets you will be able to triple these bases and this base was also pretty tricky uh, this is an opposite version because here is lots of uh, multi damage or splash damage buildings there are four uh, poison towers poison spell towers and also lots of uh, multi inferno towers that's why you cannot use any spell troops or dragons uh, or so on and that's why you need to use um, tanky troops and uh, because of that i'm actually using the uh, the e-titans because they can tank lots of uh, damage they can destroy skellies uh, pretty easily and uh, they also uh, work very very good with the healers as uh, they have lots of hp healers uh, have enough time to heal the e-titans before they got killed so uh, the first thing you need to do is to create a funnel with using a battle blimp with yeti just to destroy one circle uh, of this uh, poison multi infernos and then you just uh, start your titan smash and also you need to open all these uh, circle compartments uh, if you don't have uh, super wall breakers you can use jump spells for example like two of them uh, to destroy two circles and the, the last one will be destroyed uh, anyway with your royal champion so you can use uh, the super wall breakers or you can use jump spells because actually i think i used uh, so many rages and heal spells and uh, they were not very ne necessary uh, also uh, pay attention that i am using the heal spells and the reason is that sometimes uh, the poison towers are not very dangerous for your ground troops but they are dangerous for your healers as uh, ground troops are getting healed by the healers and the healers themselves don't get any healing and uh, with the poison they can be uh, killed very quickly that's why in some cases i try to use uh, the heal spell just to help healers uh, to live a little bit longer and then the end of the attack i'm using the poison spells just to protect my troops but actually they are not uh, very needed because i still have all the five uh, titans alive i still have my royal champion ability and i still have some healers uh queen walked uh, uh, another direction not uh, with the main army that's why she got killed but it doesn't change anything it's another triple uh as i said you need to use titans in my opinion in this attack and the last base uh, i believe this is the last base guys uh this is disappearing dilemma uh, also, uh, you see the resources in this map. Uh, I tripled this uh, map from my first attempt because actually despite there are lots of invisibility towers, they cannot influence a lot on your attacking because yes, they make uh, invisible almost everything. But of course, uh, your super archers will have some targets to shoot and the invisibility doesn't work that long. So your super archers will destroy at first the things that they see then the invisibility will end and uh, super archers will destroy uh, all the rest of the buildings and uh, they will create 
and again a great funnel for your drags and then uh, your dragons just fly over the map and they uh triple everything uh as uh, even with the invisibility spell yes they will switch the target but but they then they will return to the original one so invisibility spells are good instead of battle blimps uh, for example, in a case when your super archers just switch the target and they never return to the previous one. In this case, uh, the, the invisibility spell towers works great. But in all other cases, they make invisible buildings, but, but then uh, your troops just return to that building and destroy it. And uh, it's another easy base, in my opinion. All the bases where, when you can destroy lots of things with your super archer blimp are pretty easy. Uh, easy. Um, just one is not that easy, uh, the, the map with lots of builder huts and uh, the last map, the Mama's Madhouse, uh, that map I showed in the previous video as a bonus, so um, if you didn't find this attack in this uh, video, just go back to the previous one and then in the end you will find how you can triple the last base on the single campaign map, the Goblin map the mama's madhouse so that's it for today guys thanks a lot for watching uh, i i'll keep you informed about the upcoming um clashmas challenges uh it the one will be on the 16th then on the 19th and so on and so on so each day when the new challenge uh, appears in the game there will be a tutorial on my channel how you can easily pass it thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video it was salamon bye